This is a ventilation strategy for patients with congenital diaphragmatic hernia. There are some notable anatomic changes in congenital diaphragmatic hernia. They have abdominal contents that are herniated above the diaphragm, which leads to chest compression and bilateral lung hypoplasia. This results in fewer, thicker alveoli, poor compliance, and a mediastinal shift. This also leads to vascular issues. They can have muscularized arterioles and fewer vessels, which leads to pulmonary hypertension. They'll have imbalanced vasodilators and vasoconstrictors in the lung, and the vessels will remodel over two to four weeks if they're protected. So this is why you need to do a gentle ventilation strategy. The hypoplastic lungs are easily injured by high pressures, and aggressive ventilation can trigger inflammation and worsen your pulmonary hypertension. They're already, uh, they already have pulmonary hypertension at baseline, as we said here. You want to protect them during the remodeling period, and this will improve their survival. So again, your strategy will be permissive hypercapnia. You can allow PaCO2 is up to 65. You want low peak inspiratory pressures. Keep them below 25. You want SpO2s uh, between 90 and 95, and you want to avoid volume trauma and maintain normothermia. There are some complications that you can monitor for. A contralateral pneumothorax should be treated with a chest tube or needle thoracostomy if it's high pressure. If you have a worsening pulmonary hypertension, you can treat it with nitric oxide. Otherwise, um, nitric oxide is not routinely used.